New Year's Eve in Las Vegas. That's what I'm talking about today, and I am starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Angela O'Hare, a local realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada. You can sum up New Year's Eve in Las Vegas to only one word, and that word is crazy. And when I mean crazy, I mean it is absolutely crazy here. <laughs> the mere concept can make one tingle with anticipation at the prospects Carte Blanc to enjoy the finest drinking, dining, and dancing in the entertainment capital of the world with 400,000 of your closest friends and more celebrities than a year's worth of TMZ. No doubt about it, December is all about New Year's Eve in Las Vegas, making it one of the most exciting times to be on the Strip. The key to making New Year's Eve 2019 a success in Las Vegas is actually planning ahead. Here's a list of New Year's Eve events and celebrations happening in Las Vegas that you definitely do not want to miss out on as the year turns from 2019 to 2020. And the first one is the Las Vegas Strip. Everyone should have this on their bucket list. Everyone should experience the Las Vegas Strip. The entire Strip is shut down to traffic and it's like one giant block party. At midnight, the casinos launch a choreographed fireworks display that makes the Times Square ball drop look like child's play. Inside, Las Vegas shows rock with the hottest entertainment and nightclubs in Las Vegas and they are packed with celebrities and partygoers who are dressed to impress. If you're curious about the weather in Las Vegas for New Year's Eve, you definitely want to dress warm. It's going to be in the mid 50s during the day, but at night, since we live in the desert, it's going to be very, very cold. I would say probably in the 30s. If you're planning to party on the Strip, you want to make sure you get there early, even if you're planning an event um, within a casino. So what's going to happen is Las Vegas Boulevard is going to be shut down between Russell and Sahara at about five o'clock and it'll be shut down all New Year's Eve until January 1st until 4 a.m. Surrounding streets will be congested. You can park at most of the strip casinos and back entrances will come in handy after the strip is closed, including Frank Sinatra Drive to the west and Koval Lane or Paradise Road from the east. But realistically, you shouldn't be driving at all. If you do plan on staying on the strip, the Las Vegas monorail will be the only transportation available. It will operate continuously from 7 a.m. on Tuesday, December 31st through the entire New Year's Day, Wednesday, January 1st, 2020, and until 2 a.m. on Thursday, January 2nd, um, for a total of 43 straight hours. It's also important to be aware that if you're trying to get into one of the casinos, um, they're gonna be jam-packed on New Year's Eve, and you could run into some technical difficulties a number of the strip hotels in an effort to keep the crowds inside within occupancy levels set by county officials will allow only those with proof that they are guests of the resorts to enter the properties during the height of the festivities outside. So last year, I think that they were shutting down and you'll be trapped in there. That's kind of scary. <laughs> last year, I think they shut down around right before uh, the New Year's Eve hour, 12 o'clock. Um, and then after one o'clock they'll reopen. Or I think maybe it's from 11 to one, but the most important thing is you need to be where you're supposed to be before midnight. And number two is Hard Rock Cafe. Party like a rock star on New Year's Eve at Hard Rock's Live Las Vegas, located at the Hard Rock Cafe on the Strip. The celebration will feature live entertainment, a premium open bar, food stations featuring a selection of appetizers, party favors, and a special champagne toast at midnight. Additionally, revealers get a front row view of the fireworks at midnight from Hard Rock Live Las Vegas patio overlooking the fabulous Las Vegas Strip. And this will be $195 per person, or you can also purchase a comedy act that's about $300 per person. Number three is the high roller at the Link Promenade. Make this New Year's Eve unforgettable with the high roller experience at the link in Las Vegas. Hit the strip and head up to one of the world's largest observation wheels, the high roller. 
to celebrate 2020 with awesome views of the city's fireworks show and, of course, a champagne toast at midnight. You can pick from three packages, an upgrade to include access to a VIP, pre-party, unlimited drink service, and more. The High Roller is located at the heart of the Las Vegas Strip, and again, it's the world's largest observation wheel with 28 transparent pods holding 40 people each. Start time is at 10 p.m., and tickets are around $350 to $500. Number four is the beer park and the Chateau nightclub and rooftop deck. Looking to toast New Year's Eve on a rooftop party? Beer park and Chateau nightclub and rooftop at Paris, Las Vegas will come together to host a massive rooftop bash on Tuesday, December 31st. The party will include a premium open bar from 9 p.m. to midnight and complete access to beer park and Chateau. Plus Chateau will offer packages with VIP offerings including bottle service featuring Belvedere vodka and champagne. At midnight, guests will be invited to raise their glass and toast the new year underneath the replica of the iconic Eiffel Tower, along with unobstructed strip side views featuring the spectacular fireworks show. General admission tickets to New Year's Eve celebrations start at $125, while beer parks reservations um, and bar seating are gonna cost about $200. Number five, New Year's Eve tower parties at the Strat. Bring in New Year's at the highest party on the Las Vegas Strip. The observation deck on the 108th floor at the Strat Hotel, Casino, and Sky Pod will be hosting 108 party in the sky on New Year's Eve. The 108 party in the sky will include a premium bar and martini bar, a dessert station, and performances by DJ Godzilla and DJ Mikey. A countdown at midnight will include a champagne toast along with magnificent views of the fireworks display throughout the Las Vegas Valley and Strip. The party's priced at $265, excluding gratuity and taxes. Number six is Bubba Shrimp Company. Ring in 2020 at Bubba Shrimp Company with a Blue Hawaii New Year's Eve party. Guests will enjoy an evening of live DJ entertainment, open bar all night, and a full entree buffet. Additionally, there will be special photo op with a King Shrimp Louie, dress to impress, and party the night away with the best views of the strip, a midnight fireworks show, and champagne toast to cap off the evening. The event runs from 9 p.m. to midnight, and tickets will be available for $120 per person. Number seven is Cabo Wabo Cantina. Cabo Wabo Cantina, located in the Miracle Mile shops at the Planet Hollywood Resort Hotel and Casino, will toast to 2020 with an unforgettable strip side patio party, complete with unobstructed views of Las Vegas New Year's Eve fireworks display. General admission to the patio is priced starting at $200 per person which includes an all-you-can-drink beverage package and patio access. VIP access to the patio is also available, priced starting at $500 per person, which includes front and center seating, an all-you-can-drink beverage option, and a three-course meal, including the choice of one appetizer, entree, and dessert from Cantina's regular menu. Number eight is Skyfall Lounge at the Delano. Join the best New Year's party in town at the acclaimed Skyfall Lounge at the Delano, Las Vegas, with 180 degree views that make it possible to watch the fireworks over the desert while partying the night away. With a 1920s twist, enjoy handcrafted cocktails, customized bottle service, and live entertainment to ring in the new year. Skyfall is an upscale lounge and bar experience with the best view of the Las Vegas Strip. Skyfall Lounge is located on the 64th floor of the Delano Hotel. And the Prohibition Party starts from 9 to 2 a.m. And number nine is the Foundation Room at the Mandalay Bay. Step into the vibe of the Foundation Room Las Vegas for New Year's 2020. Sip on bubbly at the VIP open bar from 9 p.m. to close, or sit back, relax, and enjoy a five-course prefix meal curated by Chef Corey Miller. Located 63 floors above the Strip, the Foundation Room is a perfect location to bring in the new year. And last but not least, number 10, the Fremont Street Experience. Rounding out the year with unprecedented success, Las Vegas' Mayor Goodman and Fremont Street Experience 
Invite revealers to ring in 2020 in epic fashion for downtown's largest New Year's Eve celebration, America's Party Downtown. America's Party Downtown is the official New Year's Eve party for the city of Las Vegas. The highlight of the planned New Year's Eve festivities is the official unveiling of the highly anticipated $32 million upgrade at the Viva Vision screen, the largest single digital display on the planet. On Tuesday, December 31st, beginning at 6, guests can ring in the new year and experience the unique energy of downtown Las Vegas with nonstop live entertainment on four stages, including a dedicated EDM stage, watch the iconic ball drop in Times Square, see stunning onstage pyrotechnics, enjoy alluring dancers and aerialists, theatrical and roaming entertainment, and much more. America's Party Downtown tickets only cost $35 plus tax. Last, I'm gonna go over fun and safe tips for you to enjoy your New Year's Eve here in Las Vegas. Number one, expect to spend a lot of money. As it gets closer to New Year's Eve, rooms can cost crazy. You can spend thousands of dollars just on New Year's Eve alone here in Las Vegas. Restaurants hike up their prices, hotels hike up their prices, so it's, it's gonna be a pretty crazy evening, so make sure that you have money to spend. Number two is you must be 21 in order to take in these festivities. You know, while Las Vegas is a family-friendly environment, however, for New Year's Eve, leave the kids at home. Do not bring them to the strip. That is crazy to be having your kids experience that craziness on New Year's Eve, okay? Leave the kids at home. Number three, dress appropriately. Um, as I mentioned earlier, yes, we live in the desert and it is warm during the days. At night, it can get very cold and you ladies wearing those skimpy dresses is not gonna work, especially if you plan on partying on the strip. Now, if you plan on going to those casinos like the Foundation Room or Skyfall Lounge, that's another different story. But if you plan on partying on the strip, wear something comfortable, seriously. <laughs> Heavy jacket, boots, gloves, hat, whatever. Who cares what you look like? The point of this having fun. And last, there's some prohibited items on the strip. So plan ahead because you don't want to get turned away. No strollers, backpacks, luggage, you know, big bags are not allowed on the strip. And just because marijuana is legal here in Vegas doesn't mean it's legal to smoke in the public. So make sure that you are not smoking marijuana out in the public. You can drink, um, but you cannot smoke, otherwise you'd be spending a night in jail. And we don't want that to happen, right? <laughs> okay, and this is it, last. Leave your firearms at home. Do not bring a frigging gun with you out. <laughs> okay, we don't want what happened to us a couple years ago, okay? So leave the gun behind. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and have found it very helpful. Um, experiencing Las Vegas on New Year's Eve should be on everyone's bucket list. If I may have missed a popular event that's happening in Vegas for New Year's Eve, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Now I can't cover everything and I want to make this video semi-short instead of being extremely long. But I wish everyone a happy New Year's, be safe, have fun, and party for me. But as always, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about the Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you guys next year. Peace out.